number of people have been asking me, hey, professor, how come you do a film every day and where do you get your subjects from? Good question. I think to answer that, you have to understand a little about me. So you've probably read I come from a broadcast background. I'm a filmmaker. I'm not a professor. I have wild hair. But I'm interested in tons of stuff. And I'm really disappointed, generally, with mainstream media. They cover interesting stories really badly. So, as a bit of a background to how these films come about, let me tell you my methodology. Waking up in this glorious 17th century French watermill with the internet. And viewers' comments. Two sources of fabulous stories. Now, I do really love weird stuff. I like military technology. I like Cold War drama. I like anything to do with aviation. But I also like stories about our planet and lots of other things. So with my French press coffee in hand and my croissant, I read this cracking story today called Why the Kremlin is going to benefit from climate change. I think this is a great story and worth unpicking and understanding and me bringing it to you. So climate change, believe it or not, ice is melting. And Russia today plans to benefit in a strange way, which is counterintuitive. As you all know, everything that we buy is made in China. And as a lot of you also know, the shipping from China to America, Europe, is all but free. That's why you can buy a small plastic item on Amazon for one buck and pay no shipping because it's subsidized by the Chinese government to build their economy. Great stuff for us, but how does it get here and how will it get here in the future? You're probably aware that there's a lot of air miles on the stuff that you buy or very, very dirty sea miles. And at present, Let's just talk about Europe. To get from China to Europe, you've got two possible sea routes. One, round the Cape at the bottom of South Africa, long way, or through the Suez Canal. The Suez Canal is very important to Europe. It is the shortest route, but also has a strongly complicated political past, if only there was another way. Well, the so-called friend of our political leaders, I'm joking by the way, Vladimir Putin, thinks he's onto a winner. So the Kremlin just said, when enough of the Arctic sea ice has melted, there'll be a new route from China focus <laughs> from China to Europe. Focus. <clears throat> Don't you love autofocus? Great. <laughs> Let's look at where this route would go. I love turning things on its head. So Russia says climate change is a good thing. It will be the greening of Russia and the opening of the new Siberian sea route to bring... Chinese junk to you for even less. The truth is out there. 